I'm Daisy Bentley. And I'm Richard Morissette. And this is your... A News. Tonight's news, Donald Trump. See, Alice didn't have to say anything else there, but I still will. <laughs> the presidential candidate has recently made a splash with his release, though not by his choice, of the erotic fiction book titled Trump Temptation, The Billionaire and the Bellboy. <laughs> it hit Amazon shelves last week in my pre-review. Well, someone reading this book looking for campaign strategies is basically the same as me watching that video trying to figure out whether that plumber actually started mending that nice lady's sink. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. The hour spent sadly watching Titanic on your ex's Netflix account. The smell of lonely man's whiskey being mixed into double trouble cookie dough ice cream. Am I talking about me after Valentine's Day? Or Leonardo DiCaprio after this year's Oscar snub? <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> the world may never know. A man was arrested recently for stealing hundreds of dollars worth of razors from a local CVS. The man was reportedly using women's razors before the incident and switched to men's razors because women's razors shave 75 hairs for every 100 hairs that a man's razor shaves. <laughs> <laughs> One Direction dropped their music video for the single History this week which is what we'll all be calling them since Zane dropped his first single, Pillow Talk, today. <laughs> pillow Talk is, of course, referring to every female in the country holding a pillow close, whispering sweet nothings to it, pretending it's Zane. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Now, more tonight's news. Who in the hell are you? What? I'm Daisy Bentley. I said it in the beginning of the news intro thing. I don't listen to that. I never listen to what the other anchor says. <laughs> well, Hang on a second, who the hell are you? If you're Alex Lumley, you severely exaggerated your height on your Tinder profile. Okay, okay, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Who do you think you are to tell me I am short? Okay, it's completely factual, I am <laughs> tiny, but still, no, that's very mean. Uh, okay, guys, what is going on here? You're not Corey and you're not Alex. Who's Wh Corey? I have no idea. You know what, come on, this is my episode. You can't both be fighting and you're supposed to be celebrating me. Andy, why are you dressed as a clown? Oh my god. When I wrote that on the script, I bet you were like metaphorically a clown, like you're a loser. Like I did not want you to dress as a clown in this interview. That's just <laughs> okay. Hi, fo, fo. I smell a squabble between what? anchors. What's going on here, guys? Okay, Alex, I am so glad you're here. You need to save me. Richard, I've told you a hundred times, I cannot save you from yourself. <laughs> Alright guys, I know this isn't exactly what you're both used to doing, but I believe you two, okay? I think you both have what it takes to do A-news, on the show. We're gonna have to work together, alright? Just put aside this squabbling. Okay, well, I suppose we can maybe try and... Why are you still here, Andy? Can you move, please? Yeah, okay. alright. <laughs> also, seriously, uh, I do not embellish my height on Tinder. I am 8 foot 11 inches, a pure, unadulterated man, and I want you both to know that. Okay, wait, yeah, what's with this thing that you're saying you're hiring actors through Tinder now? What is with that? Yeah, uh, hiring. Okay. <laughs> okay. I leave A News in your hopefully capable hands. Richard, I want you to uphold the journalistic values we've all come to expect from me. Daisy, I want you to be there when he doesn't do that, okay? Great. I'm gonna go do something fun that's not this. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, good night, everybody. That's all the time we have. I'm Daisy Bentley. And I'm Richard Morrison. And this has been your A News. Good night, everybody. <laughs>